Sims work in my project design Disney World. What makes it a sensible location? This is the brain in where all of the senses are located. There's touch, smell, hearing, taste, and eyesight. First, we'll be starting with touch. Touch is located in the orange part of the brain, which is the parental lobe of the brain, such as characters giving you high fives, or magic bands, or the pins you wear, or mouse ears. Also, they will hug, like characters will hug you or high five you whenever they see you. Next, we'll be doing smell. Smell located in the green, the um, or yellow part of the brain. It is called the frontal lobe of the brain. And um, whenever they use smell, like on Pirates of the Caribbean, they have a roasting smell. In um, Pirates of the Caribbean, it's like a rich smell. And Soren, which is a ride, it has um, orange grove, um, pine tree smell, um, ocean water, tropical, and dirt, like natural dirt or grass smell. Or Main Street USA, they have um, popcorn and vanilla. It's smellitizers. Smellitizers are at the gates, but you cannot see them. So whenever you walk in, you can smell popcorn and vanilla. Or in Animal Kingdom, they have essential oils. Be why they have essential oils? It relaxes your muscles because it's the biggest part. It's the biggest like place in all of Disney. It's the biggest park. So they thought we should do essential oils so it will relax people's muscles. Next, we will be doing hearing. Hearing is located in the blue part of the brain. It is the temporal lobe of the brain. Um, what they do with hearing is they have, such as example for um, if you see the small world sign, carousel of progress, or tiki room, you automatically think of the songs. And um, at Disney, they have over uh, one thousand five hundred about. Uh, 15,000 speakers at Disney, which is a lot. And um, at Disney, they play all of their music or the speakers that tell you stuff. It's all at a whisper. And that's how they use hearing. Next the, is taste. Taste is located in the red part of the brain, which is the parietal lobe of the brain. And, um, how they use taste is they will, whenever they say everything tastes better at Disney, it's because with all the other senses that are being used at Disney, it heightens that one and it makes it taste so much better, such as the pretzel could be the same as microwavable one at home that you buy at stores, or it could be like a bakery one. Tastes the same as pretzel, um, or the Dole Whip. The Dole Whip, all it is is pineapple, um, pineapple juice with pineapple ice cream. My grandma's favorite. You could go and ask her. It's just so delicious. But my favorite saying at the Disney for the snacks is, "Everything tastes better Mickey shape because it's true." Next, I'll be doing sight. Sight's located in the green part of the brain, which is called the occipital lobe of the brain. Um, such as whenever you see the Tower of Terror, Epcot Ball, Tree of Life, or the Castle, you think of Disney. And um, whenever, like, Imagineers had to think so much about this because they didn't want to see... Um, Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom are so close to each other. Uh, Mount Everest is huge at Animal Kingdom, and the castle's huge. They didn't want it, you to see, in the background of the castle, they didn't want you to see Mount Everest. Or if you're at Animal Kingdom, they didn't want you to see the castle. So they had to work so hard that you couldn't see the same. But there's only one point in all of Disney if you go to Blizzard Beach, there's one point at the very top of Mount Summit, you can see all four parks. 
in their main logos, the castle, the Epcot ball, the tree of life, and the tower of terror. You can see all of those. It's really cool to see them because it's the only point of all of Disney. You can actually see them all at the same time. Um, so this is my train of thoughts, what I was thinking whenever I was doing this project. I went and saw the Beauty and the Beast musical, and whenever I was there, I was like, I can hear all these sounds, and I can see them dancing, and hear all the music, so it was really cool to watch them. Next there is the, um, I got to go on Main Street, and drive this little car around, and I could smell popcorn and vanilla smell while I was driving around. Next there is the, um, character interaction. I got to see... Rocket Ralph and Vanellope for the first time ever. It was really cool to see him because I got to hug him, fist bump Rocket Ralph, and high five Vanellope. It was really cool to go see him. Next there is a donut. Donut is huge at Disney. The ears were like the regular size of the donut, and then the big part was like three of them. I got to use all five senses there because I got to taste it, got to smell it, got to hear a song that this lady was singing. I got to see the castle, and I got to, like, do all of those five senses, and it was so cool. And then afterwards, I just knew the song, and I was like, I kept singing it throughout the day. Last on my train of thoughts is the castle. And the castle, even if you were blind, you would have an incredible time at Disney. But I think it's cool be at Disney because whenever you see that castle, you'll always remember it for the rest of your life. So, in conclusion, I hope I've answered my question. What makes Disney a sensible vacation? Now, do you have any questions for me? Thank you.